Hey guys, welcome to Vicky Prithri video channel and kindly subscribe our channel for more informative videos. So in this video, we are going to see how to apply for modification to import export code in Madhya Pradesh. The link I am highlighting right now is probably below description of this video. You can click on it to reach this page. So next, to apply online, please click on this link that we have provided over here. Once you click on it, it will be directly go to this page. So now, so under for the IEC, please click on the update IEC. Now, if you are a user, please click on the register button. Now, enter your first name, last name, email ID, mobile number, PIN code, select the district, select the state, city, along with the capture code, then click on the terms and condition and then click on the send OTP button. Now, in the election, you have to enter your username, password, along with the capture code, then click on the login button. So, once login, we will reach the modify IEC page and we shall make use of the required section as per the requirement from general information or details of portman direct or bank information or other details on selecting the required section we shall make required modification using the page forms as applicable then you can upload all the necessary documents and then click on the update button please use the save and next button for each section to get the successful successful section prompts on each in the declaration section So on reaching the declaration section, you have to go to the details and also be using the applicable button at the bottom. Finally, on reaching the application summary section, please click on the preview IEC application button to get a new page with the preview of an online application. So once the authentication is complete, we will get in. We will get document signed successfully power. Please click on the OK button. Here you can pay the amount in online mode itself. So once the payment is done, we will get e-payment receipt. Please use the download receipt button to save this receipt and keep it safe for future reference. This application will be proceed further. Yes, submission to modify IEC shall be auto offered, but the required verification for the mandatory section will be made as per the applicable authorities. So the SMS ticket update on application status will be sent to your registered mobile number so you can follow the department notification. Yes, submission to modify IEC will not be auto approved. We must generate a copy of their updated IEC by using the option from the online portal. Once the department finds the application details and documents are appropriate, the IEC code will be updated and the same will be sent to your registered email ID. Then there are the required documents of DDL information and then office and location section provided with the departments and contact details that need to be approached for this process. Then in fee section, so you have to pay a sum of rupees of 200 for modification in imported exported code. So we have provided all the information in each and every section. If you have any queries or about videos, just comment us so we will get back to you as well as well. And kindly subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Thank you.